right now, though, before we go any further. Mr. Jams, record of the week. I have loved having Governor B's battle as my record of the week this week so much that for the first time ever, it's also going to be my record of the week next week because if it sounds ah, this nice, you have to record of the week. Ah, twice. Ah, oh, oh, I stay, bro. 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 Did you hear what man said? For the first time ever, blood. Twice in a week. Twice in a week, what am I talking about? Mate. Two weeks in a row, bro. Setting records, brother. For the first time ever, blood. Two weeks in a row. God is good, fam. <laughs> hey, man. I think it's an exciting time. Because you got to understand, I've been doing music with the same content for over a decade now. And when I'm looking at music right now and I'm seeing Stormzy be open about his faith and I'm seeing Chance the Rapper be open about his faith and Kendrick Lamar and Kanye West, it opens a door for that conversation. Hip-hop and rap music and grime has always been an art form where you can express whatever you want, but I think that sometimes people have um, just put themselves in a position where they overthink and they don't want to alienate people or ostracise people with very niche views or dividing views and I think that's great but you know I feel like the beautiful thing about being an artist is having the ability to share your truth and where the conversation of faith is a current one and a relevant one I feel like it's empowered me and I think you know what like the last decade has been worth it regardless but it's sick that after 10 years I can look around and I'm not saying it's because of me, but I'm saying that I can look around and the conversation of faith has been normalised. I think that's a healthy thing and it's exciting for me. This album is the first um, that I've done with my new um, label and those guys are amazing, different people, different backgrounds, different belief systems but they just respect the art form and what I need to talk about and what makes me me. And it's been a really special project, so I'm, I'm excited about it, man. It's not a wave. For me, this is life. This is oxygen. This is what I do. I breathe this, I live this. When it's not cool to talk about your faith in your music, I'm still gonna be here. When it wasn't cool to talk about your faith in your music, I was here. The aim is to share my truth. The aim is to open up the conversation and the aim is to develop that conversation with all who are willing to further the conversation. If that results in conversion, because I believe that's a great way to live your life, amazing. If not, I still got love for you. Just enjoy the music. You get me? Yo, my brother. Well gone. Well gone. What are you saying, fam? You all right? Not bad, bruv. Love for coming through. How's your driving lesson and that? <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I swear. Just roll through there, bro. My boy's there now. I'm just filming something real quick, then I'm going to pop in. That's my producer, Jimmy James, and I'm Barney. Yo, Jimmy! Wait, you can't just Wait, 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 wait. I saw that on Instagram. I saw that on Instagram. Ah, yeah, yeah, we had a session. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you see me on road, say what well, one, come and stay cool. And in the back of the bus, won't stay a man down, can it say school? I go to the spot, they pat man down, won't find no tools. Whole team one that don't need no wax, they clean new rules. Get like the coast correct, no whole squad getting brazy. Cuz just came off the wing, he ain't getting back in, he's getting new places. Yeah, the dogs don't bite no more, no rabies. Thank God for the grace, be they're not different gravy. Stay blessed on the socials, cuz I can't do war on land. A man try hype in the comments, tell a man can't do war on man. No, everybody getting on fine, come through slide, get there on time. Yeah, feed for food and gram, motive lab, you know the vibes. Had beef with war. At the end of hands are made for working. I hadn't quite come to terms with being at peace with all the things that were happening in my life that I couldn't understand. 
think I trusted that things would work out, but I just didn't have the peace yet. At the end of this album, I'm at peace with the fact that life doesn't always go according to plan. And there's gonna be quite a few curveballs that are thrown in, but I'll be all right. At the end of this album, I know that there's purpose in pain and I know that it is possible to come out of the other side. And that's something I can smile about. I couldn't smile at the end of the last album. It was like, I don't know if you ever used to keep a diary, but I'm saying it like I did. I didn't really used to keep a diary, but I'd imagine if you write something deep in your diary, you don't close it and then you're like, oh, right, sick. You're like, man, that was tough. Glad I got it out, but it's tough. At the end of this album, I'm like, yo, Man's finished the album, I'm at peace of life, and I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I think that's the huge difference. My son Ezra definitely brought joy into my life, and it was well needed, not just my life, but my mum, his grandma, my wife, his mother, the whole family, my friends. I look in his eyes, and I look at him like, you know what, no matter what he does wrong, I'm always gonna love him unconditionally. He can do no wrong in my eyes. He can do nothing that would make him, he can do nothing that would make me love him less. And then I think, apparently that's how God feels about me. And it enables me to connect in more of a special way. I also look at him and I think, girl or boy, I would have been happy. But because of you, my dad's name lives on. Like I'm looking at legacy. And I needed that man. He's given me another reason to not give up. He's given me another reason to fight. He's given me a reason to aim high. He's just given me a reason to, to live life to the fullest, man. And I needed that. I don't know what the future holds. I just know who holds the future, so I'm good to go. And I just hope that people can look back on my discography and my offering as a musician and say that he stayed the path. Like, he was consistent. He didn't change unless it was for the better. And he is someone that we can look at and think, yeah, man. That's a good you, that's a loyal you, that's a consistent you. Um, and that means a lot to me because there's waves every, every other month and it's easy to switch sides, it's easy to chase that and chase this. But I want to look back on my discography and for people to think, yeah, a couple of dodgy tunes that maybe weren't the best, but all in all, some good music, talked about some really important topics, cared about people, was always a cool person to talk to. And yeah, whatever the future holds, I'm good with, man. I'm comfortable with the unknown. So this album, Everywhere and Nowhere, is for everyone that has lived in those two places at the same time, you know? Sometimes I feel like God is everywhere and nowhere. Sometimes I feel like my dad is everywhere and nowhere. Sometimes I feel like I am everywhere and nowhere. I've achieved some great things, but there's loads of things on my list that I haven't. How can I be so happy and content, yet so miserable and insecure at the same time? And this album is for anyone that is trying to find a balance between achievements and disappointments. It's, it's a weird thing, but I know there's a lot of people that live in that space, and I hope people enjoy it and connect with it. Yo, my Gs, my friends, my family, my, I don't even want to call you that fans, my extended family. I'm just here at the studio recording my album, and it's feeling special, man. I can't wait for you to hear it. Watch me take off cause I walk it like I talk it.